Well, this is certainly a surprise. Russell T. Davies returns as programme showrunner of Doctor Who. To those less informed, this is the man responsible for reviving Doctor Who back in 2005 and, in my opinion, gave rise to probably the golden era of Doctor Who, certainly of the revived era anyway. But um, I have mixed feelings about this and I will get into that in a bit, but um, let's read. Screenwriter Russell T. Davies is to take charge again of Doctor Who, the sci-fi show he helped revive in 2005. Davies, who was the fantasy drama's showrunner until 2009, will take over when Chris Chibnall departs next year. I'm beyond excited to be back on my favourite show, said Davies, who resumes his role as the show prepares to mark its 60th anniversary in 2023. Excuse me. One of his first responsibilities will be to decide who takes over the TARDIS following Jodie Whittaker's exit. The actress is set to hang up her sonic screwdriver after one more six-part series and three 2022 specials. In a statement, however, Davy said it would be time travelling too fast to speculate on what will happen when he returns. There's a whole series of Jodie Whittaker's brilliant Doctor for me to enjoy, with my friend and hero, Chris Chibnall, at the helm. Uh, press X it out. He continued, I'm still a viewer for now. Chibnall said it was monumentally exciting and fitting that Davies would be back in charge for the series' 60th birthday. Russell built the baton that is about to be handed back to him, the writer and producer continued. Davies revived Doctor Who in its current incarnation with Christopher Eccleston as the Doctor and remained for David Tennant's time as the Doctor. Stephen Moffat took over when Matt Smith took on the role, staying to supervise Peter Capaldi's stint as TV's indefatigable Time Lord. The, su- the success of Doctor Who's relaunch led Davies to create two spin-off shows, Torchwood and The Sarah Jane Adventures. Yeah, that was... Um, it was an interesting time to be a teenager. Um... Uh, that sounds weird out of context, but anyway, um, uh, BBC Entertainment Correspondent, yeah, I don't care. Um, uh, David's return was also welcomed by Bad Wolf, the production company founded in 2015 by former BBC executives Julie Gardner and Jane Tranter. Um, yeah, it's funny because I didn't realise that Bad Wolf had become a production company um but kind of shows how out of the loop i've been about doctor who um because uh yeah but but of course bad wolf being a story arc from uh davies first series of doctor who which apparently is a production company now so interesting um gardner and trancher both worked with davies on the Doctor Who relaunch and will collaborate with him again when he returns as showrunner. Um, and yeah, same same spiel here that we're excited for uh, him to come back. And uh, yeah, it's I guess good news in a way, but I'm just cynical. I've just become so cynical. Um, for a while now because um, don't get me wrong Davies' tenure back in the early noughties was yeah it, it was quality television and as I said probably the golden age of Doctor Who's um, you know modern run but um, I don't know because the, the whole thing of revivals remakes reboots stuff like this i it, it just i just have concerns basically because you know there's precedent to this when well although it's it's not exactly the same as you know the likes of um what they did to star wars or star trek and stuff like that um 
and you know desperate to go back to its roots when effectively the piece of media has come off a cliff and that is what it seems like to me because good god Chibnall's run as showrunner has been absolutely atrocious and you know his stories you, you know shoehorned with socio-political commentary um which you know again in the modern era uh there's no nuance whatsoever it's very blatant but he had to go one step further and retroactively destroy um doctor who canon and just insert his own fan fiction into the doctor and the time lord's origin which kind of defeats the purpose of the show the whole point of the doctor is that his backstory was as enigmatic um as possible hence the name of the show doctor who but uh yeah chibnall took a sledgehammer to that um but yeah i'm going off on one now we'll wait and see anyway um but yeah i i just i'm I'm gonna hopefully remain a bit of optimism because it is russell t davies but that being said it is current day bbc he's working for and you know again as i said earlier talking about nuance that doesn't exist with current bbc programming <laughs> jesus um because, like, for example, um, Davies himself, um, we'll go back up up to him here. Not a very flattering photograph of him. Sorry, Russell. But he introduced Captain Jack Harkness, played by John Barrowman, who, you know, Barrowman himself being gay, playing an omnisexual time agent, um, who effectively was, was just a flirt to everyone. And it, they never made a point of saying, this is my sexual identity. You will respect um, my identity and my, how I, you know, how I wish to insert my genitalia, basically. But um, they, they left it subtle enough. Like, um, Harkness was just a flirt, but... Um, um, given stories that have come out about John Barrowman in recent months. I don't know if he'll be coming back. Uh, although he did return for um, the last Christmas or holiday special of Whitaker's era. But anyway, just for the member berries. But I bring that up because transition from what I just said about Captain Jack Harkness to... Um, Pearl Mackey's character here in the picture on the left, Bill, um, who was a lesbian, and they made a point in that uh, series to basically spell it out to the audience in every every scene she was in. So she would effectively go up and say, oh, by the way, I'm gay. I was like, yes, I thank you. We kind of got that from the other 100 times you told us. So, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to say um, on this because um, it's been 12 years since he left and it won't be another two years before he takes the reins. And, you know, a lot can change in that time. I mean, as I alluded to, look at how they're writing TV shows nowadays where you know, ideology and um, socio-political talking points take precedent over cohesive stories, but come on, Russell, don't let us down, please. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying he's going to completely rejuvenate us, but um, it would be nice. It, it, it would be nice.